Alright, so I've been consuming a lot of time travel content over the last few years. Most notably Doctor Who, The Terminator, CW's The Flash, Back to the Future, not even mentioning the N64 Zelda games, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask, some of the most influential games I've ever played. I don't know what it is about time travel that keeps drawing me in. Just recently I completed the anime Steins Gate and its sequel Steins Gate Zero. Personally I find Steins Gate to be one of the best time travel stories in recent memory. If you disagree, let me know why in the comments below. This video is going to be a little bit different. I want to take a look at how time travel has been used in different stories and how you can implement time travel in your story if that's what you're wanting to do. And I'll even talk about some of the reasons why you might not even want to include time travel in your story. Fair warning, I might talk about quantum mechanics and if so, remember that I'm not a physicist and got most of my stuff from r slash quantum, the subreddit, where people are most likely also not physicists. But now that I've got that out of the way, time travel. Why am I talking about time travel today? Because personally I like time travel stories and isn't that reason enough? Okay, while it is true I like time travel stories, I want to dive a little bit deeper than that. What is it about time travel that just keeps us coming back to it in our stories? Some of the earliest time travel stories that we know are hundreds of years old, and despite all our technological advancements, we continue to write stories about it. In a time travel story, one or more characters, either deliberately or accidentally, gain the ability to travel into the past or future. Within such a story, they may be able to travel at will, or there are limits on how and when they will travel. There are three main types of time travel stories that you'll see today. The first type is preserving the status quo, the second is changing the status quo, and the third type is uh, what I like to call the Bill and Ted effect, or time travel tourism. Which is essentially when you just time travel just for fan service or just for the sake of doing so. So the Bill and Ted effect isn't particularly in depth, so we won't focus on it. But the other types are quite interesting. Preserving the status quo means that the hero needs to ensure that a particular action either does or does not occur. This is where Back to the Future comes in. Spoiler alert, the hero Marty finds himself in the past and accidentally disturbs the circumstances in which his parents meet and fall in love. The movie is about him undoing that mistake and preserving the status quo. The next one, changing the status quo, is where specific actions in the past or present must be changed in order to prevent an undesirable outcome. This is where your Ocarina of Time storyline falls in where the hero Link has the ability to travel between the present time and the future where he sees a world that kind of sucks. The events of the game are Link defeating Ganondorf and changing the present in order to prevent him from coming to power. This was a very generalized view of some time travel plots, as an in-depth exploration would take hours. So back to my original question, what is it about time travel that keeps us coming back? We need to take a look at what these time travel plots give us. First and foremost, time travel gives you the power of the what if. What if something had happened differently, or what if it hadn't happened at all? These are the questions that you can attempt to answer by telling a time travel story. So this completely contradicts the world we live in, where we can't change the past or see the future. We can't press a reset button and try again. There's no song of time to let us go back to the first day. There are no do-overs in real life. As I thought deeper about the topic at hand, it became clear that we tell time travel stories because of our obsession over conquering time. Our desire to change things that are out of our control. It became clear to me that I want to tell time travel stories because of my personal obsessions over conquering time. My personal desires to change things out of my control. I wanted the freedom of the what if. I wanted a do-over. If I could only go back in time and tell myself what I knew now, then I'd be so much further ahead of where I am. But life doesn't work that way. And it's for that reason that I changed my perspective on what stories I should be telling. So here are some of the reasons that we shouldn't tell time travel stories. Time travel stories allow the heroes to fix everything in the present with little to no consequences. It's that do over or reset button that I mentioned. This can and often does lead to lazy stories which are resolved with a time machine ex machina where everything goes back to normal. Every decision we make in the real world has lasting consequences and cannot be undone. Despite this, it's still important to push for change and improvement where necessary. But we have to do it knowing that there's no reset button, no time machine, nobody to bail us out. Essentially, our real world actions are permanent, and time travel stories lack permanence, which ultimately means that they lack any kind of commitment to actions. If you can just go and change it, then why should you care about your actions? If you decide to ignore my warnings and write a time travel story anyway, that's great. And I'm fully supportive of people who want to tell these kind of stories as long as it serves their message. Remember that I'm a person just like you, and my opinions are no more important than your own. So if you want to tell a particular story, don't let me stop you. 
If I had to give you any advice, it would be to remember that the theme and purpose of your story is always more important than any kind of tropes. There are hundreds of time travel tropes, but none of them are more important than the message of your story. Second, it's important to think about setting limits on time travel or what it costs the hero. What could potentially stop you from being able to time travel? Maintain these limits throughout your stories and don't subvert them at the last minute. Next, it may be a good idea to find the balance between complete freedom and structure in your story. It's great to be as creative as possible, but your story may be better served with a degree of logic added. I think it's important to consider the sociological implications of time travel in your world as well. Uh, how they affect your characters and the world that you've built. Things like, if I time traveled one week into the past, how could I prove it to you? Say your character figures out time travel but can't prove it to anyone because he didn't memorize lottery numbers. Okay, so now I'm going to solve that why you probably shouldn't part of the title. Here are some things that you can do instead of having time travel in your story. I think it's possible that the best time travel story might not even involve any time travel. The biggest thing that I think of is the many worlds interpretation. The many worlds is an interpretation of quantum mechanics, which implies that all possible outcomes for any action exist as their own universe. Most theories around the many worlds interpretation posit that the number of alternate universes is either infinite or extremely large, with some estimates being 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 122, which is a lot. While this mostly deals with quantum physics and the study of atoms and subatomic particles, the many worlds interpretation is theorized to affect large scale decisions. For every decision that's been made, either consciously or unconsciously, there lives a universe with different outcomes than the one that we are currently in. What this means for storytellers is that any possible reality or alternate reality exists, or could exist at least. This means that we have the freedom to create an alternate history, but still be grounded in reality. We can tell stories based on a world that exists in a hypothetical parallel universe to our own, one that could technically exist, one where the decisions made have just as much importance as the ones that we make. This adds a degree of commitment that is missing for most time travel stories. Every decision your characters make lasts within the world that they're in. Even if they leave that world, the decisions are still there and there are people who need to live with the consequences of those actions. This tip is more generalized, but it's not to write in a vacuum which is something I've done for far too long. When writing a story, it's important to share your work with a group of people that you trust for feedback. It can be very helpful for other people to read your work because they can give you ideas for improvement that you had never even considered. The story I'm currently working on, and that I hope to turn into an animated series eventually, is about a hypothetical world where computing technology was invented about 100 years earlier than in our current world. I plan on exploring the sociological and political implications of such a change, as well as the ability to travel between alternate realities, and I'm looking forward to completing more of my story and sharing it with more and more people. I encourage you to create a group of people you trust where you can share your stories and ultimately be creative. Okay, this video has been all over the place. Main message is to think about the consequences of your actions both in real life and in your story, and get out there and start creating.